Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you. Some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, the value of intent. A man falls down on the sidewalk by a bus stop. You hesitate a moment, and then when nobody else lifts a finger to help him, you rush over and assist the man, getting him on his feet, checking if he's okay, and dusting him off. Later, in the restroom at work, you noticed used paper towels carelessly tossed outside the wastebasket. You pick them up and put them in the appropriate receptacle. On the way back to your work, you go by a number of people and you smile in greeting to them as you pass. Gee, you sound like a pretty great person. Very socially aware, doing your share to contribute to a kinder, gentler nation, But if we dig a little deeper, here's what might appear. You don't really feel like helping the guy get up off the sidewalk. But when nobody else does, you do. Not because you're concerned about the person who fell so much, but because you want to show the people who didn't help him what jerks they are. You pick up the paper towels, not because you enjoy pitching in, but because picking them up allows you to feel better than other people, as in, Well, at least I don't dump my litter all over the place. At least I know the right thing to do. When you smile in greeting at those you pass by, you do so not to give them a little love in their day, but because if they don't smile back, you can feel righteous about, See, I try to be nice, and does it work? No, people are ungrateful and don't care. Your apparently loving behavior is really an opportunity for you to make others wrong and yourself right, even if only in your own mind. Does this make you an evil, bad person? Of course not. It just makes you a person who hasn't yet matched their inner intent to their outer behavior. So what difference does that make, you might ask? If I'm doing good things, what does it matter why I'm doing them? Well, it matters because... Only caring intent will lead to feelings of joy and satisfaction. Doing things to prove that others are wrong or bad hardens the heart. You end up bitter and resentful, and eventually you won't be able to get yourself even to do the outer behaviors. If you want to be socially conscious and contribute to the healing of our world, intent matters. You are part of the world. You, too, need love, joy, and satisfaction. When you give genuinely to others because you value their well-being, when you do things because you care, ah, then you flood your own being with warmth and good vibes and, in giving, receive. Take a look at your own behaviors. Be brave. Be honest. Tell yourself the truth. How much of what you do do you do to make yourself look right? And how much do you do out of genuine caring for yourself and others? And then, be even braver. Make conscious decisions as to those things you want to do out of true caring and dump as many as possible of those behaviors you would only do to make yourself right and others wrong. What a relief. Now you can give what you truly have to give and in the doing, receive tenfold in love and satisfaction. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my new book, Phoenix Rising, Surviving Catastrophic Loss, Fires, Floods, Hurricanes, and Tornadoes. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, please visit my website, noelnelson.com, or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. And until next time, be well and take care.